everybody, it's Katie and today's video is going to be what's on my iPhone. So I have the iPhone 7 and it's the black iPhone. Um, this case is from Walmart, it was like $7, so it's not like the best, but it actually does protect my phone pretty well. Um, and of course I just have extra spare money just in case I need it. Um, so I'm going to kind of take you through all my apps and stuff like that. So starting out with my backgrounds, the first background is me and my boyfriend at our sorority spring formal. This was just a couple weeks ago and it was super fun. And then the other background I have is me and my friends when we were in Florida for spring break. So I have two full pages of apps um, and then I have subfolders of course. And I'm the type of person to organize their apps in rainbow order so that's what we got going on here. The first app is news, then tips, find my friends, which um, I just basically stalk my friends and they stalk me. It's fun. Um, then we have books and I actually do some reading if I'm like traveling or something. It's just easy to pull out my phone and read like that. So I have some books and I had books from school, like high school. Calculator, the last entry was 975. I think I was doing accounting homework. That's fun. Then I have notes and I use notes all the time. Um, just to write down like YouTube video ideas. Um, I have like song lyrics and just like things that have happened in my life that I want to keep track of. Then we have Snapchat and hello, yeah, Snapchat, I love Snapchat. Um, <laughs> then we have find my iPhone, FaceTime, and then I have a finance folder and this includes Venmo and Fifth Third. Um, these are just apps that are money related, I guess. Um, then we have weather. And it's 53 degrees today in Oxford, so that's cool. Group Me is just where um, we have a lot of like group chats um, with different people or how I message people if I don't have their numbers. TV, which I've never used before. App Store, um, iTunes Store, Podcast, and then Instagram. Let's see, I'm on... Okay, well, I'm on my personal Instagram, but follow me on Instagram, guys. Infinite Beauty 7 um, then we go into the games, and I don't play all of these games, I just haven't deleted them yet. So, Word Count, Style Adventures, Toy Blast is kind of like Candy Crush, um, Black Hex is really fun, Kingpin Bowling is like a bowling game, I'm not very good at it though. Um, Temple Run is a classic, Slices, Best Fiends, which my friend Gretchen got me catched on, catched on, um, addicted to, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> then I have Pen Run. 100 Puzzle, um, then Donut Maker and Cake Shop. Those two apps um, I use for babysitting, so like when the kids are really bored or grumpy, throw an app at them and they'll have fun. Um, Blackjack, which my mom loves, so I like playing it too. And then Jigsaw Puzzle, which is the most addicting app. I got my friends addicted to it. They give you like daily puzzles every day, and I'm a huge puzzle person, so this is really fun for me. Then Zoo 2 Animals, and it's like a simulation, like animal game. And then Pets World. Then I have Spotify, and if it would load, yeah, so just Spotify, casual, I was listening to one of my friend's songs. Um, Starbucks, which I don't really use, because I don't go to Starbucks as much um, anymore, I used to go a lot when I was home, but now, like, I just don't really feel like going, because I'm lazy. <laughs> then we have wallets, stocks, compass, watch, voice memos, this is where I record either voiceovers or song ideas that pop into my head. So I have a decent amount of those. Settings, clock, and check this out. Look how many alarms I have. Like, just so many options. This is what happens when you're in college and you like to nap um, for like 20 minutes or so just set a bunch of alarms. Then I have camera, contacts. Let's see how many contacts I have. Go, go, go. Okay, I'll just do it this way. 355 contacts. So popular, but I only talk to like 12 people, like, let's be honest. Um, then I have files, calendar, and I'm very strict on my calendar. As you can see, I have so many things in my calendar. This is such a useful app or just nice way to have it electronically so I can access it anywhere. Visco is my main editing app for photos, um, and so I just really like this app. Then I have health, music, reminders. I have a lot of reminders. Um, these are really useful if like, it's something daily or something weekly comes up that I won't forget. Photos, I have a decent amount of photos, but you know, that's just life. Um, maps, and then I have stuff. This is kind of like the boring stuff, so I'll fly through this. Pages, numbers, keynote, garage band, iTunes, bus tracker, which is from Miami, Google Drive, Dropbox, measure, flow, because you know, I gotta track my period, Oxford to you, and Fiverr, which is like a freelance service thing. 
Then I have social, Twitter, Pinterest, Curtsy, which is like a dress rental thing, or a dress buying thing, um, Prime, Messenger, Uber, Facebook, 30 Day Fitness, which I've never used in my life, Ticketmaster, IGTV, Pink Nation, House Party, Depop, Romney, Shein, Mer Mercy, Mer I'm going to say Mercy, and I think it's Mercari, um, and then Poshmark. And then I have photos and videos, so this is where I go to edit my photos um, and edit my videos sometimes. So YouTube, YouTube Studio, if you have a YouTube channel, the YouTube Studio app is super helpful. iMovie, Clips, HP Sprocket to print out little things from my phone. Fonto is like a font editing app on your photos. Hype Text, Facetune, Afterlight, Unfold, Preview, We Heart It. Um, Shutterfly, Word Swag, Snapseed, and Vaunt. So I'm not going to go into detail on these, but if you guys want like a detailed um, video on how I edit my photos or how I edit my videos or something like that, just let me know and I'll get right to that. Then I have Mobile, School, which are super boring, so I really don't want to go through these, but I will. Quizlet, good study thing. Corsical is really good for scheduling classes. Duo Mobile, My Vote, Gym System, Top Hat, Turning Point, Map My Walk, WhatsApp. Um, which is good for like international talk, and then SurveyMonkey and Sheets, so those are really boring, sorry. And then I have Google Photos, and this just downloads my photos from my camera roll to Google, and then I can delete them off my camera roll and save space that way, so do that, definitely. Then I have phone and, um, oh, what's it called, mail, messages, and then Safari. So that is all for the What's on My iPhone video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you later. Bye.